Brooktopian! Hello everyone, it's Brooktopian here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be doing an unboxing for June of 2024. In this particular um, order, I believe I ordered only one set that is new for this month. But it is a pretty good one. But there's a couple of other things I got that I've been trying to get for a while. That I've been get, trying to get for a, a couple of months or whatever. So I finally managed to get those as well in this order. But anyway, without further ado, let's have a look inside. Oh dear. <laughs> right, you can sort of see inside the box a bit better now. I actually forgot that I got one of these. One of these one of these sets I forgot I got. I actually forgot I got this. This one. I forgot I bought it. Huh. That's my memory. That's that's I'm, I must be forgetting stuff because I actually forgot that I ordered this. I actually saw this at the shop the other day in person and I was like, I should I buy that? And I've literally ordered it I've literally got it in this order. So it's a good thing I didn't buy it because I would have had two of them. So yeah, basically this is the Ford Mustang Dark Horse. It is a um yeah, it's a recent set. I think it came out last month, was it? Or was it March? I think it was March it came out. But I've really wanted this one because I really like Mustangs and I think this is one of the better speed champions they've done for a while it's still not my favorite mustang out of speed champions i still like the original green fastback one they did although that was six studs but yeah i got this because i really like it i don't collect all the speed champions but i collect some of them, my favorite like car brands or whatever and i thought it was cool but beyond that i also got this set which is a pretty small set it's a it's like got loads of little alien builds in I might not necessarily use them as they are. I'll probably use these for parts, like the little printed eyes. And that will probably use them for parts to make something custom. But I mainly got it because you get an extra of the classic Spaceman outfit in. I know they're fairly easy to get, but I just thought it's cool to get an extra set that's got that in. The box art is actually pretty nice in this set as well. I really like the um, galaxy purple backdrop. But I thought it was cool you get this. It's like a little tiny classic space like scooter thing. And I, my thought was to use this on my classic space display that I have. Which is um, got all other like vehicles on and stuff. And then the rest of the set, yeah, used for parts and things. It's a fun set, but it's not like that necessary to get it for me without this. This is very silvery, actually, this part of the box. I don't realize how silvery this was. It's like, it looks really shiny. I'm surprised how shiny it is. But yeah, so I got that. And then I got this, which is Ninjago City Docks. Micro, micro, micro Ninjago City Docks. And this was on the reward page of um, LEGO Insiders. And I've wanted to get this for ages, because this came out, I think, in... Was it last month or the month before? And I've been trying to get this. And I've been waiting for other stuff to be available... That I want in order to get this with it because most of these promos you cannot get. Well, pretty much all of them you have to buy something with it. Even if you buy it with your points, you still have to have something else in the order for they allow for them to allow you to ship it, which is kind of annoying in a way. But you know, but there it shows the size comparison with the with the original big modular version of the docks, and also you can see there you get. The original city, the docks, and that would be the gardens and markets there. I'm not sure when they're doing the uh, gardens one. I thought it might have come out by now, but it hasn't. So I'm a little surprised. But 
I'm in no rush because I've still got to build this, obviously. But yeah, there's some really, these are really cool. And then the last thing I got was this, which is the new mini Disney Sleeping Beauty Castle. And I really like this. This is awesome. This will look so good next to the regular mini Disney Castle that they did. I thought that was fantastic. The original one i really enjoyed the build it, and just the color scheme of the gold and everything this one has got a lot of pearlescent and gold on as well but the colors really like contrast nicely with that set because instead of light gray at the bottom you've got uh uh this sand blue and then instead of white for the tower sections you've got a nice pink color well there's actually two shades of pink a dark pink and light thing but i thought it was just really nice build and this one does come with the mi this mini figure as well with a mini figure of Sleeping Beauty, whereas um, the Temple of Agabar, which they did, which was also, or was it called Temple of Agabar or Palace of Ag sorry, Palace of Agabar, they did that and that didn't come with a minifigure, which is just crazy. And then they did the Ariel's Castle, and that didn't, that came with a mini doll instead. But yeah, basically you get some, and and the box design is is very similar to the one for the Disney original Disney Castle as well. But this is great. It's a twelve plus set. And you can see the dimensions of the set are, it's 14.4 um, centimetres wide by 18.5 centimetres tall. So it's not small, but it is smaller than the yeah original Disney mini Disney castle. But you can see the back is really nice as well. It's enclosed how it should be. And you can see a little bit of a picture there of the real version. But I just think it's cool. It's a cool set and this one is new for June, so... It's nice to get this. I can't remember how many pieces it has now. I think it's like 500 or something. I can't remember. I can't remember the piece counts on these sets. I would have to um, mention those when I review these sets. Because I'm not sure off offhand what the piece counts are. But I know this one isn't the smallest, I don't think. And I don't think it's the biggest either. I think it's sort of in the middle. But I love this. It's just I just love the colours. I think the colours are great. I actually really like pink in Lego. I mean, I don't like... I'm not a super person who's super into the friend sets, but I feel like in other themes outside of friends, when it's not overly like, like, I don't know, sparkly or whatever, or whatever word you want to use, I think it sort of really works. Like if you use little hues of pink in the right places, I think it can be really nice as a color. But yeah, so I got, I got, I got these four things, but let's have a look inside the boxes of them. Cause I might as well do that. Let's have a look. How many bags are there here? Um, let me think. It looks like there's... Let's have a look. I think there's five. There's five? Well, there's, there's bag one. And it has the uh, um, Sleeping Beauty Mini figure in. There's bag two. There's bag three. There's bag four. There's bag five. Yes, there's five bags in the Sleeping Beauty. And you can see it's quite a lot of nice pinks in there. Look at all that pink. Yeah, there's five bags and you get instruction again you've got these boring instruction manuals which have just got this weird white backdrop but i don't think they're going to change back to something else now considering they're trying to supposedly save ink but i don't know i don't know but the dream sets have quite nice booklets still i've noticed not that i've bought really any dream stuff but i just know from what i've seen but yeah there's the mini figure and you can see you build this nice black base that they always have. I'm not going to keep the base on mine though. Because I like to make custom stuff on it. And I like to implement these uh, micro builds into a micro layout that I want to do. I'm like making bits and pieces at the moment sort of. I'm not actually like at that stage. But I'm sort of making bits and pieces of micro stuff that I can like put together. And um, then I can make it look really nice in the line. So I've done that with some of the others. I put them on a nice green plate and then I've added some water and everything. So I'm sort of going to do that with this one. And then obviously the docks I've got there is is already on a water plate. But it's going to sort of slot together with some of my other micro modular stuff.
But yeah, I think this set will be really fun. I think it'll be a really good build. I can't wait to do this one. I think it'll be really fun. I like it. It looks good. So that's that one. I don't really need to show anything else on that, really. Actually, I've just noticed this hasn't got a um, a uh, QR code on, has it? Which is a bit annoying. Because does that mean I can't scan it? Oh, there's one. Well, no. I don't know. Oh, wait, there's one in there. Is that it? Oh, that might just be to do with the sustainable packaging, though. No. Because I should have the QR codes so you can scan them. Because you're supposed to be able to get points, aren't you, from some of these. But yeah, and then let's have a look at... Um, I'll come back to that one. I'll have a look at the uh, docks, I think, next. Because the docks, I think, will be really fun. I'm really looking forward to doing the docks as well. Because the original the original Micro Ninjago City one I, just, I did, previous, was really fun. It's like, it's like actually quite impressive to me how much detail they managed to keep on um, such a small scale. I'm actually surprised by it. I know there's a lot of stuff you don't get detail wise, but I'm still kind of impressed by it. I would say I'm trying to have be like logical and like reasonable about what to expect. I think it's got a fair amount of detail for what it is. So there's the instructions, and this one does have a QR code, even though this is a prom promotional, well, rewards item. But yeah, you can see the nice little size of it. It does look so cute. I mean, obviously, there's inaccuracies, like, for example, um, I don't, actually, I don't know what I was going to say, but but obviously that, that representation there is a bit lacking in detail, but... I think it's really good for what it is. I think it's nice. And you can get the little boat again. And what I love about the box is it even says on it again, boat does not float, which they did on the other one, which is just absurd that anyone would even attempt to float this. It's just a, literally a reference to the bigger version of the set. And I love it. It's just so stupid, but it's sort of something fun that Lego should do more of. They need, they need to not lose the sense of fun of Lego. It needs to stop. I don't want it to just be be some serious like product all the time it doesn't need to always be serious i get lego is like great for mindfulness and relaxation and it's like collector's item but lego still needs to focus on a sort of humor in a way to its products i think it's really good when they do that so yeah you get some bags here you get bag one you get uh, the plate, which is used as the base, which is not in a bag. I don't know why. Sometimes they do it so they don't scratch the parts, but, you know. Oh, and there's there's that piece as well, because obviously this is this one is 12 um, studs wide, whereas the original City one is only 8. You also get, yeah, so you get, uh, there's 6 bags here, isn't there? Yeah, there's 6, because you get bag 1 there, bag 2 there, bag 3 there, bag 4 there, bag 5 there, bag 6. They're all very small bags. I mean, look how small bag three is. It's tiny. They didn't really need to do it in six bags, to be honest. But, you know, they're trying to make it feel like it's it's got the same level of progress that you have when building an actual modular. Like, you slowly go through it, I guess. Because there is a real sense of accomplishment with building modular buildings and Ninjago City modulars in particular. But, you know, it's just interesting that they would include these tiny bags and yet they don't want to print for more detailed instructions but I'm not going to complain too much really but yeah you don't you don't really get anything too worth too much worth saying about in here so you can just see like how you build some of it again and they've got these nice orange colored pages which is nice I like that looks cool and I also find it interesting that they don't keep to the original instruction manual design on like on the big versions, but yeah, they went to so much effort for the box. I know the box would be a lot easier to print and ink wise because it's not like glossy and stuff. But it's just like when they really want to put the effort in, they can to like replicate in this box design. It's like they didn't have to do that, but they did that as a fan service, and I appreciate it. But it's just like there's other inconsistencies in Lego where I feel like they they take shortcuts and they don't and they don't have to take shortcuts with certain things. It's quite it's quite funny in a way, I guess. But you know, I'm not going to complain because I'm happy they're doing this. There's another picture of how you can connect it to the original C. See. So yeah, that's that one. 
had a look at. Next one, let's have a look at this one. I think this is cool, but like I say, I'm probably going to part this out. I'm just going to use the scooter and the minifig. And even the minifig, I probably won't even keep the head that's on it. I'll probably swap it for a normal plastic space head, I imagine. Because it's got like a Lego City style minifig head on it at the moment. It's not exactly, um, yeah, plastic space head, is it? Because it's like this one with the glasses, but yeah, so what have you got in here? You got looks like there's four bags. Yeah, there's four bags in this one, see? There's bag one there, bag two, bag three, bag four. Quite a lot of green there. Look at that, all that green. And then yeah, bag one has got the minifigure in. So yeah, I'll probably build the whole thing though, even though I'm gonna part out most of it. I'll probably will build all of it. But um yeah. And then there's the instructions, which again are very simplistic. And they show all these little miniature sections of the build. So yeah, so look, there you go, you build the you build this astronaut first. Ha, huh, that's interesting. The air tanks on this one are black, not white. That's interesting. Well that's a change. They've put a different colour air tank to the rest of the outfit. I'm not gonna complain that that's not bad, but I'm just surprised. But yeah, I like this little scooter. I basically got it for this because like I just think it would look really fun if I build this. It's got like the train style walls, but yeah, I'm gonna use this on my layout, it's gonna be fun. But yeah, there's not really a lot else I need to sell on that one, is there really? And some of the printed eyes look pretty pretty cool in my opinion. I think they'd be useful for custom stuff. I don't know what specifically yet, but I'll probably come up with something, I think. And then the last the last one you've got is the Speed Champions Mustang. So let's have a look at that one. That's kind of cool. I just noticed this actually. It's got like this like 3D effect sticker with the Ford logo under there. It's like 3D effect. It like moves around. Like you get on some like greetings cars, like this weird 3D ones. I didn't actually show you the back of the box, did I? But look, there's the real car. It looks really nice, the real car as well. This is cool. I don't know how much of this is stickered and how much is printed. I think that might be a print, but I'm not too sure. But yeah. So, how many bags are in this one? I think there's four again. Four? Yeah, there's four bags in here. There's four. Oh, look, that's a nice print. So... Yeah, there's four bags. Bag two. Bag four is not got much in, is it? Oh, look at that. Mostly the wheels and the uh, windscreen, mostly. Bag one. But yeah, and then you get this as a separate bag, which is just like the wheel cover. So, and then there's the sticker sheet. Yeah, that bit with the back lights on must be a print thing, because there's n it's not on the sticker sheet. Yeah, there's a few stickers. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as it as I thought, actually. I, I really don't like how many stickers are in Speed Champions. I know if they made it all prints, it'd be more expensive, but just some of them are too much, and it just sort of gives me a headache. But, yeah, this piece is separate again. They quite often have this separate. It's like a chassis, isn't it, whatever. And then there's the instruction manual, which, again, is very boring, but, you know, I'm not going to complain, I, even though I keep doing it, but... I don't know, it's just, I just used to instruction manuals in Lego looking so fancy, some of them. like. But there's the minifigure you get with it. I would like that they're including the option to have hair or a uh, helmet now in these, which they never used to, I don't think. So I'm still pretty pleased about that. There's some of the parts. But yeah, I think it's cool. And like, it shows you some of the other recent ones that they've done, been doing. I do like the Audi one. I think the Audi is really nice. I just love the red on it and the wheels. I don't know if I'd get the other two or not, but I'd probably get the old Audi one at some point. But yeah, that's it really. So there's not really a lot else I need to show you on that, is there really? But um, yeah, so there's four four really awesome sets here. I think the best one is probably the Castle. But I don't know. I think I think they're all good. Obviously, I'm not too fussed on this one, like I said, as a whole set, but I'm still glad I got it. I think it'd be something different, isn't it? And it is space. I do love space stuff, so, yeah. 
But anyway, I don't really need to say anything else, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, share and subscribe for more videos, and see you again in the next one. Goodbye.